Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing question 8 from the past paper link down below. We need to work out 7 over 10 minus 4 over 15, all in brackets, divided by 2 over 3. We need to give our answer as a fraction, and this is a 3 mark question. So the first thing we're going to want to do is deal with the fractions inside the bracket. The problem is that they have different denominators, and the denominator is the number on the bottom. So because they have different denominators, we have to change that. So they have the same one, so we can subtract them from each other. So looking at the lowest common multiple, it will probably be 30. 30, so 10 and 15, if we times 10 by 3 and then 15 by 2, that will be 30. So, so we're going to give them both a denominator of 30. Starting with the 7 over 10, well, we'd just have to times top and bottom by 3 because 3 times 10 is 30. So taking 7 over 10, that is going to be equivalent to 21 over 30. Again, it's the same fraction value. We've just written it a different way, so it's more functional for our u. Next, we have 4 over 15, so let's times top and bottom by 2. That's going to give us 8 over 30. And now we've got these, I guess, alternative ways of looking at these fractions I want to say value but it's not they're the same value it's just a I guess an alternative format we can sub them into that bracket so 7 over 10 minus 4 over 15 is going to be equal to 21 over 30 minus 8 over 30 and that's equal to 13 over 30 so that would be the final amount we have inside the bracket 13 over 30 and we know we now have to divide it by 2 over 3 so 13 over 30 divided by 2 over 3. Well, if you want to divide a fraction by a fraction, what you can do is flip the fraction on the right and it just becomes a times. So this will be equivalent to 13 over 30 times 3 over 2. And this is going to be a lot easier to calculate. So on top, we're going to have 39 and on the bottom we have 60. So our fraction is 39 over 60. And then if we divide top and bottom by 3, that will be 13 over 20. I don't think it asks us to simplify, but I decided to simplify anyway. So our final answer will be 13 over 20. Cool. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully it was all clear. If it wasn't for any reason, you can let me know below. Uh, I appreciate the feedback. If you want to support the channel as well, that option is available down below. That would be very much appreciated. And obviously, you know, you can like, subscribe and share and um, yeah, all that good stuff. So hope it helped. Hope you liked the video. Uh, thanks again for watching and best of luck with all your maths.